Hello and welcome to the Kinetic Code Students YouTube channel. My name is Tio Chris. Today we're going over how you can detect and work out lag on your server. So it can be quite tricky to track down lag on your server. So I'm just going to show you one tool which is incredibly good for looking over lag. Um, this won't be the one-stop guide to how to find every piece of lag ever on your server, but this is an incredibly handy tool and I'll try to keep this video short and sweet um, so you can find out what's going on. So we're going to be installing something called Spark. Here we go. It's a profile tool for Minecraft. Now, it doesn't matter what version you're running. So we've got version for Bucket, Fabric, Forge, Sponge, um, you know, Nucket, Bungie Core, Velocity, whatever. There's versions for everything. So it doesn't matter what you're running. Um, you can download a version um, that you need. So it also runs on the client as well if you're having performance issues in your single player world for whatever reason. And um, for this version, we're going to be using Bucket because we're running paper on our server. Uh, if you're with Kinetic Hosting, then you can also download it via our plugin installer, uh, which you just search for Spark, for example, and just go for search. Oh, there it is. We're just going to install it. That's how we just go install it. Otherwise, you can just drag it into your plugins folder or multiplug group folder or whatever. So we're just going to restart our server once that's in there. Oops, didn't mean to press that. Um, so this is a um, profile tool. So what this does is it will run on your server once you set it to run, and it will keep running, and it will work out what's causing the performance issues on your server. So you can see we've got Spark is enabled here. Now, there's a number of big tools we can do. First of all, we can see whether our server's lagging or not. Now, servers run off things called TPS, which I'm sure you probably know. So there's 20 ticks in a second. If your server's lagging, then it will be running less than 20 ticks in a second, and then that's when things will start to slow down. So, for example, if a furnace is smelting and your server is running at 10 TPS rather than 20, then your furnace will be smelting at half speed. Likewise, if you mine a block and it drops late or whatever. So, we can just do spark TPS to bring up the TPS on our server. So, you can see we've got just the TPS going on here, and we can see some other performance stats here. Now, this if the server's just started up, for a couple of seconds this might be a little bit lower and then it will sort of come back up um, and it, that, that, that's kind of normal. Um, but if it's constantly dipping below um, 20 TPS, that's how you know you've got a lag issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the profile. So we're going to run spark profile start. So there you go. Sorry, I, I just realized I misspoke there. We're going to run Spark Profiler Start, not Spark Profile Start. Sorry about that. I said the wrong thing, but I typed it. I uh, typed it correctly. Now, it's a good idea to keep this, like, so whenever you feel the lag starting on your server, run that command straight away, and then keep it running for, I'd give it a good five minutes of running. The longer you run it, the more information it will collect. So don't be impatient with it. Make sure you leave it running. Now, we actually haven't got anything causing lag on our server here. I'm just running this to show you how to read the profiler that it spits out afterwards. So what we're actually going to do now is we're going to stop the profiler. Like I said, though, make sure you keep it running for a few minutes and we're going to run exactly the same command except we're going to put dash dash stop on the end there you go and that's going to tell us it's uploading results and it's going to give us this little link here now if we click on that it takes us to this page and this page gives us a bunch of different information about our servers you can see we've got the tps going on here we've got how much memory the server's using and stuff like that cpu whatever so but this is the information you're going to be interested in so if we drop this down here are the percentage of everything that's going on in your server. So if something's kind of like red like this, and you can drop down, we can keep dropping down, and you can see we're just dropping down even more, and we can just sort of find what's causing the lag on your server, you keep dropping down like so. Now, this isn't gonna be very clear to us because we're actually not got any lag running, up, any lag issues on our server. These are mostly just Minecraft purpose uh, functions. But let's say we've got a plugin called Davecraft. Right, we've got the Davecraft plugin on our server. What we can do is we can drop down here, drop down here, and then if we see something here that's called, I don't know, net.pluginggg.davecraft, and it's using a bunch of our resources, we can look at that and think, hmm, Davecraft, the Davecraft plugin I've got on my server is probably what's causing my lag issues. And you can see it kind of works like that. Um, I'll bring up a example, a better example of one, um, over onto the screen in just a second. So here's a quick example I'm just gonna pull over onto the screen now. Now, this is a example from a modded server, it's actually using an outdated version of Spark, uh, but it, is, it, it will work just the same. So what we can do here is if we're feeling the server is lagging, we run the profiler and a drop down here, 
and you can see we've got a bit of red going on here and that's not dropping down into anything so you don't need to worry about that we just do a drop down here and then down here and you can see oh this is the next biggest one so we could drop down here and then we can drop down into the next biggest one here and then we go look see here now down here is cofh.thermodynamics.util so we can see here that this is something that could potentially be causing lag on our server now normally if it's only sitting around two percent you're probably pretty good anything under ten percent the sort of a single process this does depend on what you know what process is running um is normally pretty good anything that's like up in the 20s then you've probably got like a, a big big problem going on um, so we can look through here and we can see that thermal dynamics is, is, is causing a lot of this. So we, we could pull that out and see if that's the cause of our lag. And that's kind of just how it works. It's kind of just going down these lists. We can just click down them and we can see our matter overdrives here. That's running at 3%. That's probably okay. You know, um, we can click, you know, further down some more of these. You see we've got Astral Sorcery here. That's running at 0.0.8%. That's probably okay, you know. And you can just sort of work down the lists like so and just pull out things. Like I said, anything under 10% is normally not what's causing the lag on your server. But sometimes it can be a buildup of multiple things. So you could have a multiple things um, building up and, and causing the issues. Um, so that's kind of it. You just got to run these profiles and just sort of dig into them and, and find out you know what what could be causing the problems you've got things like the world here updating entities what well, could it be um, a bunch of entities on your server that's causing the lag um is there like mass entities or whatever or if it says something like um you know world load or chunk load or whatever or is that because i really need to run a pre-gen on my server or uh, is there lots of chunks being loaded it's just sort of reading that and going through and and seeing what's causing the most processes and just just whittling it down um and find out what the cause is. Anyway, um, I hope that did help with some of you. It's a, this is a really good tool to go through and find uh, what's going on. It can look really sort of overwhelming at start, but when you actually kind of dig into it, it's actually really simple um, to understand. Anyway, have a fantastic day, and uh, I, I guess I'll catch you in whatever Minecraft tutorial I'll do next.